All right, guys. Hey, so I was going to go live on the Chalk Mineral Enthusiasts page, but for some reason we are having like crazy technical difficulties over there. So every time that I come on my own page, I'm not pixelated. But for some reason, over on that page I am. So I'm going to just do a tutorial here on, and yeah, I don't look pixelated, right? Good. Okay. So, uh, hi, Linda. So, um, what I'm going to thank you, Bet. Yeah, I don't know. So weird. The Chalk Mineral page, I was pixelated. And I tried like a million different things. So, we'll do it from here. And then what I'm going to do, so I'm going to show you the patina line. So, what Dixie Bell has started doing um, this month is it's called Back to Basics. So, hi, Lynn. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's... I don't even know what's happening today. Technology, right? Um, so what Dixie Bell has done is they have set up the whole month of August to be a back to basics. And so what they're going to do is um, they would like for the retailers to show you guys the different products because sometimes you know how the interwebs is. There's things that are out there and people have questions and you might find stuff on Google that's not really... Um, you know, the, the true, like how to use something. So I really like the patina line. I've used it on furniture. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to use it on metal today because a lot of times we don't talk about that. Sometimes we do, but um, a lot of times people use it on furniture. So when you're using the patina line on anything that is metal, you have got to use the primer. Yeah, so share this guys. And then what I'm gonna do from my page is I am going to pick a winner. You're going to get a product from the um, Dixie Bell Patina line. So I'm going to pick a winner off of my page, off of here, for you guys tuning in. So, yeah. So share this. Invite people so that way you guys can, um, so we can share the love of how to find this stuff. So what you're going to need to do anything with the patina line is, and it, what we're gonna do is talk about metal right now. So you're gonna need, I just did chip brushes to show you guys, but so you, I just used chip brushes on this. So get some clean chip brushes, okay? And this is a metal piece. I just, so you know, I'm not lying. This was outside. So this was outside. So it shows you that it didn't patina or do anything because this is a galvanized sheet from hi Dixie Bell <laughs> sorry about all that craziness so um Dixie Bell I am letting everyone know to share this and then I will pick somebody at the end of this video to um win so um okay so this is a galvanized sheet that I have okay and it's been outside and right here you can see like there's spider webs and stuff but I wanted to show you guys that it has not patinaed or anything on its own because if you get galvanized sheets from like Lowe's or something like that it won't patina it won't rust because they put a special coating on it so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can make it rust with this patina line from Dixie Bell so I'm going to explain to you guys how to use everything and you know if you like to, hi Georgia, if you guys like to use, um, if you guys watch my tutorials, I like to do it in steps. So I like to show you what it will look like later on and then a middle and then I'll do a little bit of a um, thing in the beginning because some of these require for you to wait an hour in between coats and so you don't want to sit here and watch me for an hour. So like I said, what you're going to need is you're gonna need some brushes. I'm just using chip brushes to show you guys, okay? And then on metal, so for wood, you don't need to use the primer, okay? You don't need to use the primer for wood pieces, so furniture, okay? But for metal, you need to use the primer. So I know this is backwards because we're on selfie mode, but this is the prime start, and this is for use on all metal surfaces, okay? So I'm gonna go through what you need to do, then I'm gonna show you. So if you wanna patina this and get it to look like that, and hopefully you guys can see that. I am, but I'm feeling much stronger now. So right here is, I use the bronze on here, and that's the patina, that's the end right here. 
and then right here is the copper. So this is like what your final product will look like, okay? But I'm gonna go over how to get that final product. If you guys can see right here, do you, I'm gonna scoot this down. Right here, some of the primer is showing through and it's just to show you guys that um, if you don't cover that primer with this paint and the patina, then it's not gonna do anything. The primer itself is not gonna do the patina process, okay? So, here we go. Um, right here is primer, and you need to do that first on metal. So make sure with any of these products, you guys are shaking them really well. So, um, so right now, what I want to show you, the reason why I did this ahead of time is because the primer requires one to two hours of drying in between coats, okay? But it goes on just like paint, so I'm gonna show you guys how we would first do it and then we'll move over here because this has been drying and that's two coats. So the prime start is just like paint guys, okay? And like I said, this is for metal, okay? So the prime start, you just wanna put it on there, you know, generously. Because if you put this patina paint right on this metal, it's not gonna work. That's why you need this primer. Again, you don't need it for wood surfaces, but you need it for the metal surfaces. So I'm just going over it a couple times. That's one coat of that prime start, but you need two coats, okay? So I'm gonna just close this up. You need to wait one to two hours between drying, okay? You obviously don't wanna sit here with me for two hours, one to two hours. Um, so what I did is I prepared this part for you guys. So prime start right here, okay? On metal surfaces, you need the prime start. I'm sorry about the jackhammering. He stopped for a second. I actually went over there and was like, can you stop for a second? Cause I have a video to do. He looked at me like, yeah, okay. So sorry, my, I wasn't very persuasive. Okay, so now next, I, what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use the copper and the bronze patina line, but there's copper, bronze, and here's all the, they're beautiful, copper, bronze, and iron, okay? Bronze will give you a blue look, copper will give you a green look, and the iron actually gives you a rust look. So what I wanna tell you about the iron is that when you do the rust look, it takes a little bit longer for it to activate, so just be patient, okay? They're all gonna activate, even this that's already here and it looks like it's dried, I'll come back in like an hour and it'll still be doing stuff. So if you want to stop the activation process, if you were happy with this, then you need to seal it, okay? Because otherwise, it's just going to keep on going. But the iron, like I said, with the rust, it'll take a little bit longer. So just be patient because with all good things, we have to wait, right? So these are the paints. But today I'm going to do the copper and I'm going to do the bronze. Now, the key with the paint is you do one coat, you let it dry, okay? After it dries, Rosa, you can seal it with um, Gator Hide or Dixie Bell has, Gator Hide is one of their um, biggest sealers, one of, a lot of people like it, but they also have like a polyacrylic type top coats also, so you can use any of that stuff. What about glass, do you prime to start? Yes, um, and I haven't done glass, but I would assume that glass would do the same thing that the metal does. So anything that is like a slick surface, you're gonna wanna prime it first. Um, so, and actually I'll, I'll just test it out on some glass later and show you guys. But, so here is the copper and we're just gonna go, I'm gonna go on this side right here with the copper. And then you wanna go, and then I was doing the bronze. So this is the same thing I did right here. And you go over it right there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually wait for these to dry, okay? First coat needs to dry. Then you're going to put another coat and while it's wet is when you're gonna put the activator on it, okay? Not when it's dry, because if it's dry, it's not gonna activate, all right? So again, this is the copper, this is the bronze, and then let's pretend like, this coat's dry, then we're gonna just pretend for sake because we don't want this to be forever, but. Um, and then I would paint over that again once it's dry. 
and paint over the copper again once it's dry. And then I will take, and I love Dixie Bell because they actually give you squirters, like good squirters for your, your um, patina stuff. So they've got the green and then they've got the blue. And you would just squirt that on there wherever you want it to activate, okay? Um, I laid my piece down, but you want to squirt it and then you just walk away and you let it do its magic, okay? So, and like I said, you have to be patient. It's not, it, it'll, you'll start seeing it change colors pretty much right away, but um, you need to be patient. So this I did, I actually did this this morning, this part right here. So if you can see, I'm gonna actually get it close up. Do you guys see this? So, you have a hard time choosing between the green and blue. I just spray it all and let it just flow. See what happens. Okay, there we go. So right here, this is bronze, okay? And this is what's starting to happen with the bronze, okay? And then this is the copper, and that's what's starting to happen with the copper. But in order to get this, guys, you have to do the prime. Yeah, the blue is really nice. But again, see, I took this out from outside, and it has all, these, all this crap all over it but it it didn't patina it didn't rust so I just want you guys to know that this is made by Dixie Bell this patina is coming from Dixie Bell's patina line it's not like I just picked it up and was like oh it's patina it's not this is a galvanized piece of uh, metal that you get from the hardware store that they put a coating on and it won't patina on its own and this thing has probably been outside for months and months and months so like I said um, yeah, I like to use both colors to show you guys. Um, you know, the this one will turn more of a blue, and then the cop, the bronze will turn more of a blue. The copper turns green, and then the iron actually does a rusting. So, like I said, if we're gonna go over this, I'm gonna go over this one more time. And this is just for metal, but I'm actually gonna take it and show you guys what it looks like on wood as well. I did a tutorial a few months ago on Dixie Bell's page on a piece that I did the patina line on. So I'll be able to share that with you guys or Dixie Bell can share that with you guys after this. But again, so this is a galvanized piece of metal. You can use any metal, it doesn't have to be brand new. I just got this for you to show you the power of this line, okay? Yes, Kim, there are three base coat colors, okay? So if you're doing it on wood, you don't have to use the prime start, okay? This is the prime start. So on wood, Hi, Nancy. You don't have to use the Prime Star on wood. This is for metal, possibly glass. We're gonna, we're gonna test it. Don't quote me on that. I'll test it and let you guys know. So right now I'm showing you how to do it on metal. So we did a Prime, which I just showed you guys. This is the primer with the primer. Now, first, before I say anything, you guys need to make sure you're shaking this stuff. You have to shake it, especially the paint, because this is a metal oxidizing paint. So there are medical, metal particles that will go down to the bottom if you let it sit. So you need to make sure that you're shaking it, stirring it, whatever, so that way you know that you're getting it's all mixed up and that way it will work. Oh, it does work on concrete, okay. Okay, Patricia says it works on concrete. Yes, I've seen it, um, people do it on like, uh, if you go maybe like to the thrift store or something like that and they've got like those concrete, like little angels, if you guys have seen those, the little angels. Um, people like to patina those. I lived in Europe for four years. I lived in Italy and there's a lot of stuff that's patinaed. So I think that's why I love this line so much because it, it just gives you like an old world look. So back to what I was saying. So this is primed, okay? You do one coat, you wait one to two hours before you put the second coat on, okay? You need two coats of the primer just so that it is nice and covered. Once that primer is dried, then you can go over and put your paint on here. This was the copper. This is the bronze, okay? You want to do one coat and let the paint dry, all right? And then once that's dry, you put another coat on it and you want to put the activator patina spray, whether it's blue or green or both, because I like to use both. You need to put it on when the paint is wet. Okay, if you put this on, if you forget and you're like spraying it on the dry and you wonder why it doesn't work, it's because the paint needs to be wet in order for these to activate. Remember, there's metal particles in the wood or in the paint. So 
one coat of dry and then the second coat. What happens if you don't use a primer? So if you don't use the primer on a metal or um, like a glass or something surface, then it will, it just, I won't work, but I don't know. I mean, it's, uh, so what the primer does is it actually gets the surface ready. So like this metal right here, it doesn't soak in. So like the, um, like wood really likes the paint and the metal particles. And so you don't need to use it for the wood, but like if you're using it with glass or metal or something like that, like this right here has a protective surface on it. No, it doesn't eat it through. Okay. So like it ha it helps it activate better. So like this galvanized piece right here, it has a protective surface on it. And I, you know what, Robin, I think they do ship to Canada. Dixie Bell, do you ship to, ship to Canada? I think you do. Um, so this metal surface right here, because I was showing you guys that this has been outside for months. Okay. Um, and so if I put this paint on here and don't use the primer, then it's not going to work because it's got, um, like a, I don't know, whatever they put on there, a protective surface. Okay. Yeah. They, they shipped to Canada and they have four retailers there, Robin. So, um, so if you don't use a primer, you're not going to get, you might get a little bit of patina, but you're not going to get this kind of patina because the primer helps it to, um, bond to the paint. It, so the primer, primer helps the paint bond and then the spray helps with the paint. Hopefully that answered your question. Sometimes I'm like, get going. So Anyway, so this is how you use it on metal, but, and then if you want to seal it, so like I said, if you like this look, then you need to seal it because it will keep activating. You'll come back in an hour and it'll look different. So if you like this, you can seal it with Gator Hide or Dixie Bell has top coats, any other top coats. So, um, thanks Dixie Bell. So Dixie Bell just put the can the Canadian retailers on there. So I'm actually going to take this off here and I'm going to show you guys my piece that I did that's wood. Ooh, hold on. We're in my garage, so hopefully I don't lose connection. I'm going to flip this around. Okay, so this is the piece that I did that's wood. And I did Dixie Bell paint on it. So if you look right here, it's kind of cool if you let it drag down. So this has the entire patina line on it. It's a base coat of Bunker Hill blue mixed with collard greens. And then what I did is I put some mermaid tail up here and then there's some peony. But what I did is I did the top copper and then I put some bronze on here. And then if you look, see this is what the rust would look like. So that'll, that's what it will look like. That's metal right there guys, that's a hinge. So I did the primer on that. Okay. But this entire piece has the patina line all over it. So this is a wood piece. So, you know, you can use it on wood, you can use it on metal, you can use it on ceramic. And like I said, right here, it's going down. So the patina line is really awesome. It can definitely add character for sure. So if you guys see all that brown, that's all rust. So it legitimately will rust your stuff. So Okay guys, so I am gonna go ahead and pick a winner. And um, thank you guys for tuning in. Let me go up here. Any special tips? My special tip for sealing the patina, I like to use a either gator hide or like a matte finish just because I think it kind of flows. Like I used a matte finish for this one. Let me get up close. So I used a matte finish because I feel like if you did a glossy, it just takes away from it. So, see that guys? Hi Meredith. So, what I'm gonna do is pick a winner and whoever I pick, you are going to have to message Dixie Bell. And once you message Dixie Bell, they will let you know what you've won. It should be something from the patina line, okay? And then go ahead and share this video and then, um, yeah, I, I thank you guys. I'm so glad. Thank you for being so patient. <laughs> thank you, Meredith. So I, what combo makes the rust? So the combo that makes the rust is the iron. You want to use the iron paint. So let me go back one more time and I'll show you guys. Sorry. What I have. You're welcome, Heather. So here we go. Iron makes rust. 
The copper makes a green, the bronze makes a blue, you've got the green paint, you've got the blue paint, and then we've got the prime start, okay? And then here's on metal, so I showed you guys the brown piece, here's on metal. This is copper after we've completed all the steps, and then this is the bronze after we've completed all the steps. Yeah, Lynn, you know, it is really easy. I really enjoy teaching, so I always hope that I can uh, make it easy. But if you guys ever have questions, let me know. But like I said, this is a galvanized piece I got from Lowe's. You can see this has been out for a few months. Nothing happened to it. So what I did is I went over and showed you guys that, uh, here we go, right here. See, that's the prime start one coat. You need to wait one to two hours between. Then here, after one or two hours, this is one coat of the paint. The first coat needs to dry. The second coat needs to be wet, okay, in order to put the paint on, or put the sprayer on there. And then this is after the spray. So I just kind of did it to show you guys, but yes, yes, Katie, the patina line is super interesting. I really like it a lot. It adds character. So this is metal, like I said, I showed you guys my other piece. All right, so let, you're welcome, Marsha. Let's, Pick a winner. So I'm just going to actually scroll through your guys' comments and I'm going to do like a roulette type thing. So sorry, bear with me. And I'm just going to flip it up because I hate this part picking people because I just love you guys all. Oh, you have a problem with it. So iron makes rust. Yes, Marjorie. Iron makes rust. Really, Kelly? Hmm. Well, let's see. You do, Meredith. Come to my house. You live close to me. Okay, guys. I think who I'm going to pick is Cindy Meyer Belt. Okay? Cindy Meyer Belt. <laughs> I did. I just picked you. I didn't even see that. I just flew in. I just, like, scrolled in. Okay, Cindy. So you are the winner. So private message, Dixie Bell's paint page, Dixie Bell Mineral Chalk Paint. And you will talk to them and they will um, let you know what you've won. Congrats, Cindy. Now you got to <laughs> Cindy, now once you're done and you use it, you need to show me what you've made. So, all right, guys. If you guys have any questions, this is on my private page, but it'll be over on the other, the mineral page. Um, let me know. One last look at the metal and then one last look at the other piece that... You can use, you can get all these cool effects. Look at that. Super cool, huh, guys? All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient. And I will talk to you later.